welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I'm going to be making mango and sticky rice. popular dish both here in the States and in Thailand, so I am excited to bring it to you guys. Let's get started. The things we're going to need are one cup of sweet rice soaked in water overnight, one full cup of coconut milk, a big pinch of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, and one ripe mango. Star of the show for today. Um, this is a basket that's specifically used to make sticky rice. You can find this at the Thai Costco that I was talking about in my previous video called Let's See. They should have it there. I will try to find it on Amazon, and if I can find it, I'll link it in the description down below. Um, you can also hopefully find it in any Asian market near you. So this is what you need, and then you also need a pot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my rice. And then I'm going to fill up my pot about a little less than halfway with water and I'm going to bring that over to the stove and boil it completely. Once it is boiled, I'm going to place the basket right inside and then I'm going to cover it with the bowl that I've been soaking my rice in. Some people use a towel to do that, but you can also use a bowl. It doesn't matter as long as you kind of contain the steam inside the basket. While we're waiting for our sticky rice to steam, I'm going to work on my sauce, which is all it is, is the coconut milk, sugar, and salt. I'm gonna bring my saucepan over to the stove and on about a medium heat, I'm gonna add in my coconut milk and my sugar and my salt and I'm just gonna stir that. Now the key here is the coconut milk cooks super fast and if you overcook it, it will turn into an oil. So all we're looking for is to heat up the mixture and wait until the sugar dissolves. Do not bring the mixture to a boil, just wait until it gets hot, until you see a little bit of steam come out. Once that happens, take it immediately off the heat and you're all set. So I've just taken my sticky rice off the stove and I've put it into a bowl and I've poured a little bit of the coconut milk mixture over the top and just to give the sticky rice a little bit of flavor, but don't pour too much, you don't want to make the sticky rice too soggy. Now we're ready to plate. I have my sticky rice with coconut milk in here. I'm gonna flip it over onto the cutting board, just like this, and hope that it comes out perfect. So now that that's on there, I'm ready to cut my mango. This is the hard part because I want to slice them nicely and place it right next to the sticky rice. It's a little challenging. The mango is really slippery as well. So all you wanna do is cut it through the center. So you wanna just cut through the top. I'm going to slice the top of it, like so, and be careful because it's super slippery and I don't want the mango pieces to fall off because I want to kind of slide it right off the mango and put it directly next to my rice. I'm going to drizzle some nice creamy coconut milk right over the top, and this is the coconut milk mixture that we made over the pot with the sugar and the salt, so I'm just going to Use a spoon and just pour that right over the mango and the sticky rice. There you have it, sticky rice and mango, my friends. And finally, I've sprinkled a little bit of sesame seeds over the top. Of course, that is optional, but I wanted to give it a little bit of an oomph. And there you go, my friends, sticky rice and mango. Such an indulging and delicious dessert. Now when you're craving sticky rice and mango, you have no excuse to say that you can't make it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.